Hey, innocent fam, it's your favorite Gypsy Naya here on Monday night, actually. I'm like, I just got done cleaning the kitchen, mopping the floor, all that good stuff. And I really want to do this Money Monday reading, just for fun. Like, just to sit and kind of wind down and relax before I go to bed. The kids are already in bed. We got one card. We really, I really want to see if the spiritual realm feel like giving us a little bit of advice. We got two. It says, consider being an entrepreneur or self-employed. This says, open a savings account and stash for a rainy day. Add money to savings for future. Okay, so... There's a lot of self-service energy here when it comes to somebody's money. Um, this is this is kind of giving me like um, okay, it's like all right now, like you have you have your security, everything is set up for you, like you have everything you need, and that's good. You're stabilized in your finances. Your spirit guides want you to take some precautionary measures in order to keep it that way. So that, you know, nothing can happen to your finances. No matter what anybody tries to do, no matter what happens in life, you know, there, I had a dream the other night that I was in a place where everyone was evacuating. There was all kind of airplanes and helicopters in the sky and everybody was evacuating. The, the highway was gridlocked. I was stuck in traffic on the highway trying to act like I'm about to evacuate. Nobody was going anywhere because the highway was totally locked up. Like, it was, it looked like one of the exits that I was getting on in Florida, but we were all evacuating. I had this dream a few nights ago, and I should have done an innocent report on it because now it's like all these wild wildfires in Hawaii and stuff. But, um, I always get so afraid of, like, um natural disaster dream like that's my worst nightmare a natural disaster so i didn't even do an innocent report on it i didn't even read on it but i'm gonna read on that sometime this week i'm gonna see what comes out because I, I don't remember what we were all running from like there was no disaster i don't know what what it was but we were all like the entire town was leaving trying to get on 95 and it was a lot of airplanes and helicopters flying real close in the sky trying to like get away from something so you know um i don't know the energy that i'm getting here is to stabilize your stability like oh okay basically um that's i don't know it. why i keep hearing that stabilize your stability okay so be stable on top of stable like you know make make sure your stability is a little more fireproof all right, and this is what just flipped over in my hand. It says money is important, but it's but not everything. Look within and you'll find your worth. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm really really getting like okay. You won't have to sell your soul for money if you stabilize your stability a little further. Like, okay, money, money, the car says money is important, but it's not everything. Like, it, it, it's you, like, you're worth, you're worth all of the comfort and luxuries that money can buy. But you, have, if you know your worth, then you'll, you'll protect that. Like, you'll, you'll take measures to guard your finances the best that you can. So this is saying, like, maybe be an entrepreneur because you don't want to be in a situation where you get fired and it ruins all of, all of your stability because you know you're basically working for somebody else you're at someone else's mercy when it comes to your finances you know you, like if that business is not doing well as a whole it shouldn't have anything to do with you right okay well that business might not be doing well because someone is stealing from the company they might not be doing like paying their taxes if that business has bad karma attached to it for shady business practices and you know demonic d demonic rituals being done within the company well then that that business might not thrive it might not flourish the way it <laughs> needs to to keep you on payroll so 
your spirit guides might want you to consider being self-employed. You know, start to consider entrepreneurship so that your money is based off of your karma, your spiritual credit. Okay? It says open a savings account and stash for a rainy day. You like add money to savings for the future. So plan for the future. Some rainy days might be coming. You know, stuff happens all the time. Like, you know, you could trip tomorrow and sprain your ankle or something. Like, you know, God forbid. But things happen. Like, you're human. So, you know, stash for a rainy day. Rain happens. Things happen. This just flipped over. All right. Yeah, it says not dependable. That pay wage. Employees. Co-workers. Yourself. Your transportation. Your friends, your family, the company, the stock. So you're, okay, so the spirit guys want you to take a look at these particular things. It might not be the same. It might just be one or two of these. But something about your pay wage, take a look at it. It's not dependable. The employees may be at your company or, you know, that you work with, your co-workers. It says yourself. Take a look at yourself and your financial habits. It might not, you might not be somebody that you can depend on. Your spirit guides want you to become somebody that you can depend on because money is not everything. All right? Like, okay, I get it. Like, you have to look within, you know, your gifts and what you bring to the world. That's where your worth is. It's not your worth is not in your wallet. However, just because money ain't everything don't mean that you shouldn't be able to depend on yourself. If you have to hold your own financially, you should feel secure. All right? So, you know, your spirit guides want you to realize something about yourself, your transportation, your friends, your family, the company, the stock, maybe a pay wage, employees, whatever, co-workers, something is not dependable. Something, okay, so like, yeah, they want you to consider entrepreneurship. Stand, stand for a rainy day. I just, I, I'm, I'm hearing you won't have to sell your soul for money if you plan better. Like, this could be avoided. Like, you don't have to feel like, you don't have to feel like, you know, being, being a slave to robbery or like okay you don't have to feel like robbing basically you don't have to be a crab in a barrel out here you don't have to step on other people to get ahead you don't have to steal from other people or lie to other people or manipulate other people like you don't have to you don't have to do a whole bunch of you know, messed up stuff in order to get ahead and stay ahead and just survive out here if you plan a little better and if you be somebody that you can depend on is really what I'm getting. Like, when you have, if you get lump sums of money, then stash some of that. It's okay if you don't, if you can't buy everything you want all at once. Learn how to be a bit of a minimalist. If you have to save money, learn how to be a minimalist. That's what I did, and I love it. <laughs> like, I don't like a whole bunch of stuff anymore. I don't like a whole bunch of junk around me. Um, even, like, entrepreneurship and self-employment. Your business don't got to be all flashy. All it has to do is be productive and dependable to the community. Your business ain't got to be something flashy, all for the people, all for Instagram and everything else. All right? You need to be more of somebody that you can depend on. What is going on? And that just flew out on the floor. That gets on my nerves. Okay, this community card in reverse, number 39 could be significant. 3 plus 9 equals 12, and I'm looking at the microwave clock. It has number 12 just sitting on it. So 12, the number 12 is significant. 12 represents family. There's, there could be somebody's family or community that is not dependable. That's kind of what came out on one of the, like, little money deck card, little, little self card deck I made. Uh, somebody's family or community is not dependable. Okay, it could be your coworkers, you know, people like you already going in business with. 
I don't know, but um, like I said, the number 12 represents family and community as well. And it breaks down to number three, but 39 could be significant. This community that you're with is not, this, this should not be a long-term plan. This is not something, these are not people that you can, um, you can establish a solid foundation with. <sighs> oh yeah, this just flew out on the floor. I'm tired of these cars flying on the floor, y'all. I'm, I'm like, I don't be feeling like doing all this stretching. <sighs> um, the number six could be significant. No, baby, hush. Um, yeah, the number six could be significant. It says thief. So somebody's in a community of thieves, okay? There's three people here. And then there's three people here. And like I said, the number 12 breaks down to a three. 24 could be significant. Number six, like I said. But there's... No, the other reason I say that is because there's six people here total. So... But see, the people on this card, it was in reverse. But the people on this card, they don't look wealthy. They're not dressed in nice clothes. Like, they, they don't look wealthy at all. But these thieves over here are shining, okay? And look like the little boy is the one that's the thief. I'm sorry, the way I'm holding the cards all wrong. Yeah, um... This little boy over here, like, he the one that's the thief, but... Yeah. You ain't got to be all shiny. And you don't have to... Like, in order to look good and feel good, you like you don't have to rob other people. Like, you don't have to take from anyone else. If you secure your foundation properly and be responsible for yourself, to yourself. Like, you owe it to yourself. You're worth it. You're worth saving some money. You're worth better financial habits and, you know, better decisions. But something about this community of thieves. Let's let's get into it. Six is definitely significant. The next card that popped out behind this 24 card is 33. So, all right. Bad health. Yeah, see, somebody is concerned. And I have the coffin. This card keeps looking at, looking at me at the bottom of the deck. It has the coffin card. Number 19 could be significant. Um, But 33, concern about bad health came out this bad health was in reverse like you know i hope ain't nobody passing away because see here's the thing in a tarot deck the death card is number 13 and this card actually came out in reverse bad health it's 13 minutes on the timer right now so you know but 31 it came out in reverse so you know 31 backwards is 13 that's why i say that Either way, it equals four. In Tarot, we have the Four of Swords card. This could easily be a Four of Swords card, like kind of recovering sick. It's an old man here in bad health. You know, I hope somebody ain't concerned that they might be passing away. And that's why, you know, they, they rolling with this group of thieves, maybe. You know, I hope ain't nobody trying to steal no money. But insurance policies, you know, I'm hoping, you know... Because this is money, this is a money Monday reading. And more cards flipped over. I have a message of concern here, 14. I have a false person here, number eight. So eight, 14 could be significant. It's like a female in reverse. It's 14 minutes on the timer right now. So August 14th could be significant. It's a message of concern. These are females on these cards. Somebody's in bad health. Somebody's in bad health. Somebody been stealing. 
It's a message of concern. We had the wealthy man in reverse. This is, you know, 13, 31. Number four is significant here, most certainly. We had the main male and the mature man here. So it's three men here. One of these men ain't wealthy no more. Okay? One of these females is a false female in reverse. So she, her, see what I'm getting is a false female in reverse. This person has been found out. Whoever she is, she got caught. She's been found out, especially with this message of concern. So somebody's in trouble. She's been found out like she got caught. Somebody in this community is sick though. And they got a message because of that like, or Somebody plans on getting some money because somebody is sick. Something like that. We got this mature man here. Huh. Any more clarity from Kipper? Pathways. Okay, so somebody needs to go ahead and move forward. Possibly this mature man. This mature man. This main male, there's three men here. The mature man, I'm kind of getting father. I'm getting like a father energy. But somebody needs to move forward. Somebody needs to look at the light at the end of the tunnel. There, There is some hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. But it kind of is giving five of pentacles energy. Um, Being sick and, you know... Be, being sick and being in poverty is like five of pentacles energy like like that's some hard days it's some hard times but it looked like it's because this community was some thieves like you know they were stealing from other people and it looked like it came back around because we like again like we have wealthy man in reverse false person in reverse and community in reverse so the community has broken up. The community ain't together no more. The false person done got caught. And the wealthy man is now broke. Um, sudden wealth. Yeah, if you move forward, whoever this is for, innocent fam, if you move forward, then you'll be able to gain sudden wealth. It's looking like. And marriage. Wow. Okay, so... You need to get on your path to, to good good wealth and marriage. If you're maybe this mature man, because that was in the upright. Like the light at the end of the tunnel, like the universe is conspiring to truly bless you. And to give you a lot. I don't know why I just noticed this in this picture. I don't know. I don't know why I just look at this and notice this. This looks like dollars, like in her dress. In her dress, it looks like dollars. It looks like she's holding up like bouquets of like dollars. Right here. <clears throat> like it's money coming out of her bouquet. Yeah. Oh, again. This came out right behind sudden wealth. Sudden wealth and marriage. Unexpected income is coming to a privileged lady. Okay. But like I said, when I look at this picture, I just saw money. I saw like, oh, I need something to point with. I need something to point with. Like if you look just like right here, it look, that looks like, I don't know why that looks like money to me on her dress. It looks like dollars are being held up on her dress. And that's all I saw. It's, there's a female about to get paid about to get a large lump sum of money she gonna be like back this is like nine of pentacles energy privileged lady also you know these two cards these came out back to back these two sets this equals number three that's that 33 number six energy that i'm picking up on we have 12 here and number three march 12th could be significant or december 3rd could be significant okay that's 12 three um, November 3rd could be significant because we have 11-3 here as well. Um, but yeah, there's a privileged lady about to get really, really blessed. 
you know, December 27th could be very significant. There's a privileged lady about to get some unexpected income. Like, this is like Ace of Pentacles, like just, you know, coming out of nowhere. Thank you. Thank you, God type energy. But the sudden wealth and, you know, having a companion, having a partner of some sort, that's what's coming, innocent fam, okay? Um, and that's supposed to be like the light at the end of this tunnel, you know? So whatever, whatever you've been through, whatever, whatever this is, it's coming to an end. Like whatever this struggle was with these possible thieves, Okay, now, and I hope y'all just saw, like, how this lover's card, March 15th, could be significant. This lover card, this lover's card just popped out smooth and rolled smooth on top of this marriage card. Somebody's getting a divine counterpart. Like, the universe is sending in, like, your, your boo, like, to grow old with, okay, with this marriage card. Be quiet, quiet. Quiet. Justice, be quiet. Jim, I go lay down. It's time for everybody to be quiet. It's late. That's why I'm reading late, so y'all gonna be quiet. And y'all still, you know, but anyway. Make some changes. Okay? You might have to move. Like I said, you gotta get on your path. Because this is possible for you. That's what the bottom of the deck. Make some changes. This card represents moving and pathway. You just gotta move. Yeah, the universe wants to bless you. We have this We have this uh, number 17 gift card here. We have this 35 equals number 8, 17 equals number 8, and we have number 9. So get on your path. 9 plus 8 is 17. I was kind of getting that from these two cards, that 9 plus 8 equals 17. You know, 8 represents infinite abundance. 9 represents endings, you know, cycles. Then we have 17 really representing a divine being. It means I'm divine. 17 means I'm divine. That's what that, like if it was a sentence, it means I'm divine. The universe wants to give you a divine blessing, but you're going to have to get on your pathway. You're going to have to get moving. And let some things come to an end because there is infinite abundance. We have unexpected income and sudden wealth here. There is some infinite abundance coming in for you in love and in money. You're getting both. The universe wants to bless you with both. Um, with this nine plus eight equaling seventeen, you're not you're not getting your gift until yeah you 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 gonna have to get on your path, get on your way. Stop whining. No, go to bed, boy. Shut up. Go to bed. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. What do y'all want? Why are y'all in here with me? I'm not putting on a Lego movie. Okay, let's move. Move. Shh, out. Y'all, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Y'all about to get in trouble. I'm doing a reading. Out. Out. We have this King of Wands here that just flipped out in tarot. I just want to get some more clarity on this story. Don't whine. Now, my son keep messing with me, y'all. Somebody get him, I swear. Like, I want him out of my face. Stop whining. We have this King of Wands here. Back up, Jeremiah. Get off me. we have the six of pentacles okay so um you know king of wands you know you could be the divine masculine excuse me jeremiah excuse me thank you you could be a divine masculine i definitely was getting like some december energy so your birthday like you could be a sagittarius your birthday could be in december But your help is coming in. Your help is coming in. 
And it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to apply for any kind of assistance that you need. If you need a grant, if you need a loan, whatever. Listen, if you need food stamps, get them stamps, my nigga. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, King of Wands energy. But you're going to reap what you've sown, King of Wands, okay? You're going you're gonna to receive all of, all of what you put out. You're going to receive that back. It's going to go well for you. Because the reason why I say that is because this flipped down on top of this unexpected income. You're going to get some unexpected help, King of Wands. Okay? we have the devil here to the star I just heard so, so, someone might have exposed you someone might have this is giving snitch energy <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that number 15 and number 17 is here somebody snitch I don't know somebody snitch or you know this is evil spell work too um, the devil to the star, like, look at this person, what they're doing under the stars at night, you know, not dressed. This is three naked people here. I also want to point out these without the devil. So somebody got exposed. I'm really getting, somebody got exposed. Somebody got caught maybe stealing or dipping into some kind of funds or something or giving away something they shouldn't be giving away. Somebody got caught. I know the star card can represent thieving or stealing. Normally, like, or if it's, if it's in, if the star is in reverse, it can represent stealing, but there is hope. I'm also getting to, there is hope. Like, you don't have to work for the matrix forever. There is hope for you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, things are aligning for you. You might be stuck at a job you don't like. You might be stuck with materialism. This, this double card is really giving me, like, materialism. You can heal from that. There is hope for you, but live more transparent. With everybody being naked, live more transparent. Be more honest with yourself, you know, so that you can come out of this materialistic bondage. Because I'm, I don't care what nobody say. Materialistic bondage could really, really be damaging to your finances and your financial future. Because it really, it really, really like has you thinking that you need stuff that you don't need. And then overlooking what you really do need, which is a solid savings account. Oh, that just flipped down. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Okay, this this Eight of Wands card flipped down on top of this sudden wealth, mature man, and message of concern. This message is coming in very fast about this sudden wealth to a main man. I'm sorry, a main male and a mature man. This message of concern it's coming in fact be be prepared for it be looking for it check your email or it's coming in the month of august and that that's what it means by coming in fast yeah then we have the wheel of fortune i just flipped down this might be coming in the month of august things are changing for you um you have the wheel of fortune the page of cups to the nine of wands so, what I am getting, like, you're going to get, you're, okay, so I already told you, you know, King of Wands, it's definitely some fire energy. I already told you, King of Wands, you're going to reap what you've sown. Karma is coming in fast, though, like. That 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 karmic MG is coming fast. You're gonna get this message because right now you might be trying to persevere. You might be trying to hang in there due to some materialism you're trying to heal from. Um right now, like like you're hanging in there, but you're you're gonna get this message. Karma's coming in to help you fast. With this page of cups, it's really, really giving me like like somebody is looking to tell you something. Somebody might be even like just looking for you. Page of Cups to the Nine of to the Nine of Wands. 
Like your karma is looking good if you hang in there with this nine of wands. But you, you gotta hang in there. Because that community you were dealing with might have been some thieves. And that might be why you're currently stuck in the nine of wands energy. You're trying to, because the eight is the eight of wands to the nine of wands. And we definitely have eight, nine, ten here, but it's not in order. So the universe is working to get things in order and in alignment for you. Yep, nine, nine. So I'm definitely reading right. We have the nine of pentacles. So. Um, this could be masculine or feminine energy, whoever this message is for. Like I said, this is privileged lady. This is what came out, kind of, you know, already came out. Here we go. Hold up. This is what kind of already came out in Kipper too. Things are changing for a privileged lady. Might be possible earth energy because the nine of pentacles came out. And then, and things are changing and then somebody's car alarm just went off. Somebody's car alarm is outside my window going, going bonkers. Some, something's changing really, really fast for a man that is persevering through some hard times and a privileged lady, a nine of pentacles lady. The universe is making things right for y'all. Okay. I just look, looked at the timer and it said 3111. So you've manifested this yourself. This is a gift from your from heaven. This is a gift from your spirit guides and your angels. Um, but this this love and money is coming in. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask the cards this right quick. Tell us more about this love that's coming in. Tell us more. Tell us more about this. Lover's energy, the hangman. That's number 12. The privileged lady card is also number 12. And then the six of wands to the ace of pentacles. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, if you make the proper sacrifices, I want them to do something with their car so bad. But it's just a lot of confirmation here. Your spirit guides are saying, if you make the proper sacrifices, you will get this Ace of Pentacles. Unexpected income. That's going to put you in this Six of Wands. You're going to go from this Nine of Wands energy to this Six of Wands celebratory. You know, the, the, the privileged lady. The, all right, so we have Earth and Fire energy here. I mean, this hangman is water energy, but... Um, it's, it's, it's really dominant with this earth and fire. Um, we have air energy out here too. But yeah. Make the proper sacrifices. Give up what you need to give up. So that you can get unstuck. And that's so, so you can win. This, this ace of pentacles is how you're going to win. This... This six of wands is your victory and success moving forward. Your recognition. Shh, get no, hold it down. I'm reading. Everything in the world wants to interrupt me, so understand that you're gonna have your distractions. Shh. You're gonna have your distractions. Cause my son is doing the most, and he know better when I'm reading. Like he need to really get out my face. It's like eleven o'clock at night. I've been dealing with them all day. It's time for him to go to bed. So you're going to have to understand. You're going to have to like lay some stuff to rest. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to cut some people off. That's going to try to distract you. Might try to steal from you. Because you are like you are in a season where you're going towards a win. You're going the right direction. And there's a lot of hope for you. But you're going to have to make these sacrifices. I kind of feel like, you know, this is what came out though. This is what this is what came out when I asked about this love, like this love energy. Them lovers cards that came out with the Kipper deck. This is what came out. So maybe you're gonna get married after you get this ace of pentacle. <laughs> maybe you gotta let somebody go. You, you might have to sacrifice one person. In order to gain this, somebody might be in your way. You might have to sacrifice, you know, 
Maybe, maybe, maybe whoever you're dealing with now is too expensive. I don't know. Maybe they had the wrong expectation. I don't know. You need to definitely get another perspective. That's what this hangman card is. A card of perspective. You got to do something. Because this is what's behind that. You got to you gonna have to make some sacrifices in order to get, get this ace of pentacles. To this like this this love and this this celebration this this love and this money you have to make some sacrifices so you're gonna have to decide what they are we have the two of swords the three of wands The Eight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. So, <laughs> you might have to block some people out. The Two of Swords, you're going to have to trust, have blind faith, like in your own work ethic alone. Have blind faith in yourself. You got to block some people out. Mind your business. The Two of Swords, when I read the Two of Swords, that means minding. I'm minding my business. I'm blocking out distractions. You're going to have to block out distractions. I'm blocking out distractions. I can't see nothing. Can't hear nothing. That, listen, I'm blocking out distractions. You know, it could be somebody trying to pull the wool over your eyes, though. My son moved my camera around. Jeremiah, can you get out? Oh my gosh, get out. Like, go away, please, boy. Anyway, um, you're gonna have to block out distractions because they're gonna keep you stuck and stagnant. It's like you're waiting for your shifts to come in. You're gonna be waiting for a long, long time if you don't, this is two and three. You're gonna have to block out distractions. Cut some people off, possibly. Because then we got the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. You're going to have to get your money up before you can go give any love offers. And that's really what this is, too. Like, that's what came out over here, too. Before this, we have Pentacles. Pentacles to this Six of Wands. So, you know, you might not get this victory and success, this win, you know, this marriage, whatever. Till you get your coin right. You have, might have to work hard alone. You might have to master your finances. You know, this Eight of Pentacles is also raise your credit score. Like, he's working hard from down here, but all of the ones it looked like he already worked on are climbing up, climbing up this tree here. He already, like, worked on them. So, that that's like, get your credit score up. All right, your spirit guides want you to raise your credit score. That's really what I'm getting real, real heavy. So that, you know, so that, like, the the Knight of Cups is like a slick offer or a slick love offer so that you can get those credit cards. Because, <laughs> you know, credit cards are slick sometimes. So that you can take, you know, or accept offers, like, for credit so that you can receive more offers as well. This Six of Wands is like a high credit score type energy celebrating, like, you know, victory, high horses. You know what I mean? I always see the Six of Wands as you riding on your high horse. You got respect. They got to put some respect on your name. You you got good news. Like, this is your credit. All right, your spirit guides want you to get your credit score up and stabilize stabilize your, uh, your, your, your savings account and clear out your circle. Your circle might get you in trouble. And there's people in your circle that might steal. But there's hope for you. Things are going to be okay. It's going to work out. Okay. All right, innocent fam. I love y'all.